Hello, what are we doing today? We're doing the heating curve. Imagine trying to do the heating curve instead of the heating curve. Man, only idiots would do that. So, what's that? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to make an ambiguous graph. And you're supposed to know what it is because that's the schooling system. Bang, 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 and bang. What is this, actually? It looks stupid. It's not even a curve, for God's sake. So, what is it? Well, let's find that out. This, you'll see that this is also when the ice cube is in a, its solid state. Now, if you agree with me, you're stupid. Because if this was also the solid phase, I would have goddamn highlighted it in the first one. This is actually <coughs> the melting phase. And what is this, you might ask? Well, that is the evaporating phase. That may give you a hint on what the next two are. Say it with me. Liquid and liquid. Okay, yeah. I think it's pretty obvious that it's literally gas. Literally says vapor and evaporating. What happens right here? Well, that's when this solid ice cube is being heated up. So heat is being applied. So when that happens, kinetic energy increases over here because temperature is basically a bunch of particles wiggling and jiggling and wiggling and jiggling around. I'm not going to keep up that for long. It's not going to go all dizzy and fall on the floor like some sort of idiot. So, same with liquid and gas. But, da da da. This melting and this evaporating phase where potential energy actually builds up. Why? Because all the kinetic energy obtained from heat is used to break apart the bonds in solids and then liquids. So, this causes only potential energy to increase. Because of course of the conservation of energy. Now, let's finally talk about uh, the slope. Slope is actually similar to heat capacity. What is heat capacity? Well, if you know anything about heat, you'll know that we already covered it in the specific heat lesson. So, Q, heat energy, is equal to mass times heat capacity times change in temperature. Or in other words, MCAT. So, C, when C goes up, slope goes down, and vice versa. So, that means that if it has a lot of heat capacity, the, uh, it will be very hard to heat it up by one degree Celsius, while if it has a, only a little heat capacity, it will be very easy. So, for example, gas has a very little heat capacity, but liquid has a larger heat capacity. That's it for today.